Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Ultimate Dynamic King here, coming at you with another video. And today, I'm doing a bit of an updated version of how to download the emulator. Now, Stranger made one of these videos a few years back, and it's gotten a lot of success in getting people into emulating the game. However, there's a lot of people who aren't quite understanding what Stranger is saying or doing in the video. So I want to try and remake it today just to see if we can clear up some of the confusion that people are having from that video. Now this is no fault of strangers as to why people are getting confused. He lays it out very, very clearly. Just people don't understand it. So I'm going to try and do it a slightly different way today. So, as you can see, we've got emulate here. This is the Japanese version. If I stop it, we go into here. There are different versions. I've gone too far. There are different versions. There's Alpha Fortress, the English version, Operation Dinosaur Rescue, and then the original one, which, from memory, on st I can't remember if I'll... It sometimes freaks out like this. Don't worry. It happens. It's because I pressed stop rather than resetting. But... Yeah. It's got that on there as well. So... Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So first off, it's going to start with this file in the description. Uh, daemol underscore dino dot ra. So you'll need to download that. I've already downloaded it. It'll be on my desktop. You're also going to want something to view it or extract it. I use WinRAR. You can use 7-zip or anything like that. So I'll put the WinRAR link in the description below as well. And you just download win rather you don't need to buy it so once you've got it downloaded and put on your desktop once you've got WinRAR, you should have something that looks like this so what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it this just says up. this does work on mac however macs aren't built for this sort of thing, it is probably going to be incredibly laggy. As you'll notice on my computer, it runs really well, but that's because I've got like a 400 pound graphics card in there. So you need to have decent specs on your computer to be able to run it properly um, as intended. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on it. And you'll notice you've got this here, extract to demo dino. Then it's going to extract it. It will take a little bit of time, depending on how quick your computer is. And I imagine it's put it on my other desktop. Yes, it has. So let's drag that across. Okay. So now we've got the folder here. You can open it up. Inside, you'll have the demo Dino folder again. You open that. And here you've got a load of different things. Okay, this is... Let's do it like this. So this here, demo, that's the application that you need to run to be able to run the game. So... You've got that there. You've got your ROMs folder, which has all the Dinosaur King ones. It's also got some Mushy King ones as well. Okay, do not touch anything in this folder. Unless you're putting more ROMs in and you know how to use the demo thing already, do not touch anything in this folder because if you start moving stuff out then your game won't work properly same with here you don't touch anything in here or in here you need these and don't touch anything in here it's all already in here i know with strangers one there was an issue with this file but it's in here so you don't need to worry about it so what you're going to do is you're going to go on to Daemon. You're going to go into Config, and then you're going to go into Plugins and Parts. You'll notice they've got a preset for what I use for mine at the moment. These need to be changed. So wherever you've saved it to, so for example, it'll be my desktop. So I'm going to go Select, and you look for where you've put it. I've put it on the desktop, so I'm going to go to here. Go into the drop-down menu. And then you'll notice here's Demo Dino. Open that. 
Um, because we're going for plugins and parts, you want the plugins folder. Select that, press OK. That path is now set. Okay. The next issue comes with the ROMs and BIOSes path. This likes to mess up a lot of people. So what you're going to do is you're going to press delete for what's already in there. Once that's been deleted, you should have a blank box. Next, you're going to press add and you're going to do exactly what you did before. So desktop, demo dino, and then you're going to press ROMs. Do not go into the drop menu. You're just going to press ROMs. Do not select any of these. It, that is what needs to be selected. So that's what it should say at the bottom. Press OK. That pathway is now set. And you're going to do the same thing again for your NVRAM. You're just going to go in there. Desktop. Desktop. Demo Dino. And then you want to put that one. That is what you need. Press OK. And press OK. Next, you're going to go into your video settings. And you set it to what you want to set it to. I use 64 layers by default. That will cause a lot. Well, the default is 32. That will cause a lot of lag on some lower end computers. If you haven't got a good computer, you want to go up either 8 or 16 depending on what sort of computer you have. This will affect your layers. So by layers, it's like the amount of different layers that you have on the screen at once. It will cause something called clipping, particularly with fire effects and stuff where it goes through um, different things on the screen. So I'm gonna use 64 because that's what I have it set to. You can set it to whatever resolution you want. I go for 1440 by 900. That's just my preference. You can go for whatever you want. There's loads there. Have a play around for what suits you. And again, you can either go for 4x3 or 16x9. It depends on your preference. I 4x3 is more like the arcade machines. However, I go for 16x9 because I just prefer it. Once you've done that, press OK. If, when you boot it up, you notice that you've got a lot of lag, you can go into sound, and disabling sound will improve your video performance. It won't fix everything, but it will improve the performance of how it runs. This is more for lower-end computers. Um, again, it just depends on what specs that you've got. I remember being able to run the emulator on an old like an old college computer that was must have been like nearly 10 years old um this was back in 2018 so it would have been <laughs> it would have been a fairly crappy computer and i was able to get it running at about three frames per second without sound on the, on the lowest setting for layers on eight layers so it is possible to get it to run on terrible computers but it will just run terribly so once you've got that done, you're going to go into controls. Now, the only ones that you need to worry about are Joy 1 and Joy 2. And these are what you need to worry about. So you've got your coin there. That is how you start the game. You've got your service button, which is if you want to go into the settings. And then these are what you need. W, that is for rock. A is for scissors, D is for paper. That's what it's set to by default. And then OK. Then you go into here. And these are what you need to worry about. Push 1, push 2, and push 3. Again, rock, paper, scissors. By default, it, on Strangers 1, I think it goes with I, J, and L. But I prefer the arrow keys just because that is my preference. You can change, you can change it to I... J and L if you want to. But in fact, I'm going to leave it at I, J and L. But the, you can have it set to whatever you like. That should be all set. These are the save states. Um, these allow you to create a point that you can return to. So 
for example, if you're trying to do a, a lengthy sort of battle and you have to restart it straight after, you can make a save state at the first point of the battle and then go back to it. That's using these buttons here. You can set them to whatever you like. So press OK. Now you are set up to go. So you want to go into File. And you want Run Naomi slash Naomi 2. Push that. This gives you a massive, massive list of games. You will not be able to play all of these games because you don't have the ROMs for them. I believe you got the ROMs for most of the Mushy King ones. Um, so, the Mushy King, you can play that one. Uh, two E, you can play that one. I think you can play that one. There's a few, there's about four of them you can play for Mushy King. It's the second version of the game. But what we're worrying about today is Dinosaur King. So you can play the USA version. ODR, Alpha Fortress, or Awakened. I'm going to launch uh, the original version of the game, just to prove a point. Here we go. It boots up fairly quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run into here. I will send you a copy of... Um, I'll put a copy of the codes list, not Hi, this one. I'm Matt. I'll probably go for this, this is one. The excavation site where my dad works. I'll He's put a copy a of this codes list in Max, the what do you think this is? Video. This is my best friend Rex. Where you can find what is it? all of your codes. An evil syndicate, the Alpha Gang, used a time machine to come here, and they're trying to capture us. Please. Particularly on the ver older version of the game, it's difficult to get all the codes in in time. We won't let them get away with this. So you just choose all your moves beforehand. Choosing those moves, and I'll give you a quick showcase gameplay. Dinosaur King! Please insert one coin! You can get a card! You can listen to Max's horrific voice just while we're waiting. So, to put a coin in, you press you played, here's 5 your card. Which on your keyboard. Do you want to play today? These work exactly the same as on the normal version, so we want to play one player mode, so we're going to go with the left Please set, or the player one set of buttons, W, A, and D. What? Who are you? We skip this. Swipe a dinosaur card. To swipe a card, you press function you one, which is F1 on the top card, of the keyboard. Press the button. You heard a little bit Drive of audio lag there, that's because I've got a lot of layers you. on my it's a black card. thing. Copy and paste the code in. And it gives you the dinosaur. What is this? Wow! It's Dynamica! Next, let's teach the dinosaur some moves. Your dinosaur learned there we a go. rock Start move. Start giving it moves. It's exactly the same. F1. Your dinosaur earned a Copy and paste in move. your code. Uh, is it? Your dinosaur there we go. learned a paper move. Sometimes you need to do it twice. Power up will be. Great! That's terrific! So now we've got Deinonychus here. And it's just as simple as... Do one. I've been pushing on there, as you've probably noticed. Just as simple as W, A, and D. Here w I for come. rock, A for scissors, D for paper. Try a critical move first. So... Oh yeah, Deinonychus has all its moves activated within the original version of the game. For those that don't know. I'll give you a quick showcase. Just for a couple of battles. Right after you. So 
a lot of what issues people are running into is in regards to the pathways. Why well, I spent a bit more time showing, but setting the pathways to you know, because that's where people mess up. But as long as you have your pathways set right, then you will be able to run the game. Here I go! <laughs> Bring it on! Watch out for the first move! It's gonna be critical. There we go. What? Spinning attack off. I did it. Oh, that's me. Let's see if we can beat Doctor Z. Actually, let's. We've gone this far. We might as well try and beat Doctor Z. I don't like that it's got atomic bomb in rock either. Here I go! I won't lose. Try to figure out what they'll try to do. Remember? Like this. Uh, let's get another spinning attack off. Okay, it's after winning. Like this. I'm trying to remember at what point they figure out the attack map. Version. I did it! <laughs> Run! And he's got the T-Rex. Deadly neck crusher. The boot. Here I go! I don't think you get any prompts in this version, so... Let's... What? Go! There we go. Let's get across the map. This might take it out. I did it! I I can't lose. I'm going to get you next time. There we go. So that was a bit of a showcase to go with it. Uh, I'm sure people will inevitably have questions uh put them in the comments section below i will try and answer them um don't get mad if i don't Hi, answer them I'm i don't Matt. always check the this comments is the section excavation but... site where my dad works he's a paleontologist but... yeah don't don't get annoyed if i don't answer the comments because i don't always check my comments and a lot of people like to spam random stuff in them anyway so but i will try and answer as many as i can um that is it. There is really not much to it. I mean, most of this video was actually just the showcase of the game. It's not a complicated thing to do. I can get how it confuses people, but once you, once someone talks you through it, it, sh it should be that bit easier. So, and I'm hoping that that's what it's done for everyone here today. But anyway, we're at uh, nearly 20 minutes into this video now, so... I'm going to end it there. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, ignore me clicking a pen just then because just ignore it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. There'll be a couple more videos coming soon. Uh, so look out for them. And I will see you in the next one.